right, about a month ago I picked up the iCamp recording glasses from Cambellas here in Winnipeg because they were on sale. Uh, if I recall, the original price was something like $160 Canadian, and I I think I bought them for $99. So, and you know what, I've been looking at these for a little while. The mixed reviews kind of held me back, but the sale lured me back in, so you know, I bought them. I wanted something like these. I didn't want anything that fancy. I just needed something to record my point of view and like the clay shooting videos and stuff like that. So I thought, you know, even if they weren't that great, they'd be good enough. You know, and it comes down to it. The, the video quality will not blow you away, but it gets the job done well enough. So I don't really complain about that too much. The audio is a little bit muffled, but given that most people will use these outdoors and at least it will block out a lot of the unnecessary wind noise and other unnecessary noises, background noises that uh, you know, that might be annoying. So that's that's pretty good. I'll, I can live with that. Uh, the controls are a little bit clunky, but it takes a little bit of time to get the hang of like what to do and how to get it to record and knowing when it's recording and stuff like that. But once you get used to it, it's not a problem. So I'm not worried about that. My biggest issue with these things is the cheap and brittle construction. Um, up to this point, I've only brought these things out three times. No joke, three times. And, you know, one day I took them out of the case to prepare for uh, a day of shooting. So I, I took them out to recharge them. And uh, I noticed they were cracked in half. And it was just hanging on by the uh, the wire ribbon that passes through the like the rim, like top of the rim. And uh, it came as a bit of a shock because I was gentle with these things. I never threw them around. So, like, I, I don't know what happened. Like, the last time I took them off, they seemed fine. And, you know, I put them in the case and never noticed any kind of issues. But, come, like, maybe there was some kind of hairline fracture from the manufacturer or, or from shipping or maybe something that I did just uh, without noticing. It just cracked it a little bit and got a little bit worse and just one day it just gave in. That's that's the only thing I, I can think of really. So I bought some Gorilla Glue to see if it'll hold well enough so I can get a little more life into these things. Uh, buyer beware I guess. So I, I would definitely not buy these again and I recommend whoever has them just be very very careful with them. Alright, that's all I gotta say.